Hello everyone, my name is Rick. Today I want to tell you more about my project, uh, the Open Hardware Fast High Resolution Laser Scanner. So it's a module uh, intended for 3D printing or printed circuit board manufacturing. So I move a laser bundle. Uh, they used to be moved with rotating mirrors, like, uh, like this one. I removed the mirror, placed the prism on top. So it's a, so it's a nice hack. And then uh, by rotating this prism and shining through it with a laser, you can uh, project the line. Here you see the uh, complete uh, module. So uh, the base of the module is a, a beagle bone, where, which is connected to the laser module. And this is all on a test board. So uh, I can turn on the laser module, uh, rotate the prism, I get a line. With the camera, I can look at the line. Is the line sharp? Uh, what is the cross scan error? What is the jitter? I also have a photo diode which can be used to detect each facet. And I can also look at the times of the photo diode, whether I see irregularity in there. Um, and, and that can also be used to see how well the system is operating. Here you can see that on the baseboard, I can also connect a spindle to cut boards. There are also three motor drivers, which are stepper drivers, which you can use to. Um, to move the laser module and um, there is a possibility to add a HDMI uh, screen but I don't use that at the moment I just log in via Ethernet so I uh, can, can run scripts like spin the polygon or, or turn on the laser and that's also how you can see whether the system is uh, working uh, so here I have a script to determine uh, the facet times so you can see it's spinning and uh, I send out uh, like 1600 lines and then at the last lines I look at the times of the photo diode and, and as you can see and also showed that in my last uh, block so th these times look very uh, good I had some difficulties with another uh, polygon motor but this one is, is working quite uh, fine at the moment I'm also working on uh, so, so at the moment I'm spinning this polygon at uh, or prism at 2000 uh, rpm if you have to want to spin it at higher speeds, you need to balance them. So for that, I'm uh, determining the imbalance uh, when it's rotating. So I added the force sensor where you can you can look at that. Uh, so that's something for the for the future. I'll now take it off and put it on the machine. Okay, guys, welcome to the lab. I mounted the laser head on top of the frame using four screws. The data cable is connected. The power cable is connected. There's a beagle bone on the back, which is uh, part of the electronics. The frame got donated by Felix Printer. It's a Dutch uh, company, so it's a commercial frame. I can then again run scripts. So I run a script which sends out 2,000 lines. The prism starts to spin. You can see uh, a line projecting uh, here. The stage is uh, moving. I currently place cyanotype paper on top of the substrate and I developed that with water so it's much easier than printed circuit boards which require more chemicals this was one of the first uh, exposure results uh, not that good the latest is, is pretty uh, pretty nice you can also find this result online and also the microscope pictures of this results so you can determine uh, how good it is this is where I'm standing at the moment I, uh, I want to thank everyone for their support and I hope uh, you can use my technology uh, soon.